morning last Sunday when a woman and her boyfriend pulled into the drive-thru of this Lakeland McDonald just for a quick burger. But when things didn't go as quickly as they hoped, things went horribly wrong. Rebecca Hyde had just returned from work and wanted to get something to eat with her longtime boyfriend. They met when they were teenagers, so 14, 15 years old. So they've been together quite a while. Um, they've got two children, 13 and 10. Their sister-in-law, Vanessa Tomer, tells us when they pulled into the drive-thru of this McDonald's, something went wrong with their order and things started taking longer than normal. That's when she says the man in the car behind them got angry. The gentleman became to get irate, started honking and screaming. The man in the car behind them got out of his car three times to yell and scream, and it went downhill from there. On the this might be a glider, man. This might be a glider. Third time he finally put the gun down on the ground, um, and a fight did take place at that point in the parking lot. Yeah, a sub man got a gun, he ain't putting it down. A sub man got a gun, he's shooting your ass. We this is the glider that was um that was um irate. But it didn't end there. Tomer says as Becca and David pulled out of the McDonald's, the man followed and shot numerous bullets into their van, striking David in the arm and <laughs> Becca in the neck and chest. Currently she is on life support. Based on witness accounts, Lakeland police arrested 28-year-old Calvin Jordan Sousa. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Calvin Jordan Sousa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ruining lives on the daily, man. Is this him? Damn. This is him. Yeah. This is him. I got him up. I don't know what you would call this, man. I don't know what y'all would call. It. Let me, let me. I got his picture. Let me, let me finish. The, let me finish the video. Let me let y'all get all the facts, man. <sighs> Charging him with two counts of attempted murder. Vanessa Tomer just hopes her sister-in-law lives. Over just nothing, but more than taking a little bit longer than it should have. The family has started a GoFundMe for Becca Hyde. They say she is still in intensive care and has a long road to recovery. Live in Lakeland, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side. It was 2.45 in the morning last Sunday when a woman and her boyfriend pulled into the drive-thru of this Lakeland McDonald just for a quick burger. But when things didn't go as quickly as they hoped, things went horribly wrong. Rebecca Hyde had just returned from work and wanted to get something to eat with her longtime boyfriend. They met when they were teenagers, so 14, 15 years old. So they've been together quite a while. Um, they've got two children, 13 and 10. Their sister-in-law, Vanessa Tomer, tells us when they pulled into the drive-thru of this McDonald's, something went wrong with their order and things started taking longer than normal. That's when she says the man in the car behind them got angry. The gentleman became to get irate, started honking and screaming. The man in the car behind them got out of his car three times to yell and scream, and it went downhill from there. On the third time, he finally put the gun down on the ground, um, and a fight did take place at that point in the parking lot. But it didn't end there. Tomer says as Becca and David pulled out of the McDonald's, the man followed and shot numerous bullets into their van striking David in the arm and Becca in the neck and chest. Currently, she is on life support. Based on witness accounts, Lakeland police arrested 28-year-old Calvin Jordan Sousa, charging him with two counts of attempted murder. Vanessa Tomer just hopes her sister-in-law lives. Over just nothing but more than taking a little bit longer than it should have. The family has started a GoFundMe for Becca Hyde. They say she is still in intensive care and has a long road to recovery.
<sighs> Let's see this guy, man. <laughs> um Let me drop this link, man. What y'all think, man? What y'all think, man? What y'all think, man? Who's everybody watching on Rumble, man? Don't be afraid to comment on Rumble, boy. Don't be afraid to um contribute on Rumble, man. I will be shouting out all um super chats on Rumble. So salute to my man, um J Bo. He says. The gliders in Britain behave just like the suns. Yeah, because y'all got some goddamn, um, what do you call them? Y'all got Albanians. Y'all got a lot of, it's, it's a lot of, yeah, yeah, you think about the Albanians, man. Hey, Marcy, man, I appreciate it, man. You don't have to get dressed up to come on the show, though, man. You don't have to wear a suit and tie, man. But I appreciate it, though. <laughs> it's all good. You went to church with the family, man? Yeah, my wife and I. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's happening, man. Um, What's going on, Hot Black? This is clearly an hombrito. It's an hombrito? Yeah, man. I'm not <laughs> taking this guy, Calvin. I think it's a sunglider. You think it's a sunglider? Yeah. Calvin Jordan Sousa? I think it might be a frozen burrito. <laughs> He's definitely a high yellow um, burrito. <laughs> I wish his I wish his hair was out. I wish he, I wish he doesn't look like he has sunny hair, man. Because you can't the sun, man. When we man, our hair just goes straight up. Our hair doesn't paint. It doesn't fall down and go straight up, man. Our hair is um, our hair is original, man. You can't fake it, man. I wish I could see more of his hair texture, but just looking in the face, I'm looking at a, I, I'm looking at a, a, an Anglo-Saxon man, maybe mixed with a known burrito. Yeah, the and eyes maybe, and the nose, man. That yeah. yeah. Maybe there's some sun in there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a sun, sun man somewhere in there, but I think it's a frozen burrito. He's got more glider in him than than not. Yeah, it's a very little bit of sun man. If there's a sun man in there, it's a it's a smidge of the sun. It ain't a whole lot of sun, man. Um, I think I think what's her name? What's that girl name? Solar Dad O'Brien, man. She might be blacking in him, man. Oh yeah, man. Um, stretch. They need to turn him into a fried burrito, motherfucker. Yeah, that was a, he, he was a piece of shit. Chimichanga. That was, yeah. that was a fucked up thing he did, man. Yeah. He's a fucked up guy, man. He's taking a cue from the sun man at McDonald's. I mean, shit, you go to McDonald's, the cashier shoots you, the person in line behind the line shoots you, random, you know, vagrant who's at McDonald's shoots you. It's just, what, what, you can't win. <laughs> I mean, you can when when he complained about your order. See, what I usually do in in, in McDonald's, what well, the McDonald's I go to, when if like you order something and it's not ready, they'll say pull in the um one of the spots over there and we'll bring it out to you. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't do that. Yeah, that it's McDonald's fault. It's not the, it's not the own burrito fault. It's McDonald's fault. They should have told the people to pull over to the side. I, I would be frustrated, too, if I'm in line. I don't know if I would, you know, shoot up their car, but, you know, 
I I don't even know if I would have got off the car once to say something to him. This also happened at like three, you know, two in the morning. Yeah, which is, you know, maybe there's only one person there. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know. So I just don't know why you would. Yeah, listen, man. If there's sons in your town, you kind of like don't want to be out that late, man. Um, <laughs> I'm just telling you. If man, you got if sons you, in town, you probably just stay at home. If you got on burritos in town, you, you probably don't. And hope do they don't home invade you. Yeah, on burritos are on burritos are very very um dangerous too, man. Um, burritos can be very very dangerous, especially those kind that kind like that. But it's not like a, a, um. Uh, like it was well, they're all dangerous, but he's not the um the the doozer like a little like worker bee type of um on burrito like the, the you know the ones from like Central and South America. That's more like a Puerto Rican Dominican.